Hey Collective, I'm posting this on my second channel. I pulled a couple of cards. There's something about danger coming out for us. So collectively, we need to look out for danger. There's something about you guys being concerned about insecurity, being overwhelmed. This card is telling us that even though you have some fears, there is no need for anxiety and fear to completely take over you. You guys need to deal with some dark emotions that could be coming from somewhere. This could also be some energies around you guys too. There's something about hazardous conditions that you guys need to watch out for and very dark emotions that could surround you or be in your energy somewhere but this is also facing your fear so don't let any of these things overtake you overtake your day there's something also that comes up with completion here um there's a final attainment some of you guys are gonna get victory there's victory in something that you guys have been working on job well done i feel like you guys have been working hard but you also perfected something right peak performance so you guys are doing great in that area this is what i'm pulling for just today it's energy alone and it's also prudence then I also see you guys retreating from something. So some of you guys are going to be walking away from something, taking a break from something, whatever that's about for you, walking away, taking a break. But it also says there's going to be some situation that you guys have been thinking about probing or something like that. There's a need for you to walk away. All right. There's something that you definitely don't hesitate to walk away. If you feel like something doesn't feel good, if something is slightly off, I would walk away from that situation because remember, our first card out is danger. So I think you guys are... I feel like almost this is a test, like you guys are going to be tested by something coming up in your way, knowing that there's some sort of danger. You're also being advised to be aware, awareness, so that you can, I don't know, get through some kind of danger. There's a timely departure. You're going to leave somewhere just in the nick of time. This is also about reevaluation of your situation. For some of you guys, I'm feeling how you travel, something about traveling by water. Some of you guys run and some of you guys, I don't know, walk or something, something about walking. Don't hesitate to walk away. I also get something about work. Some of you guys could be at work too. Something like that. Is there anything else? Um, let me pull a couple of these. I got some cards over here. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else comes up. Yeah. I'm just trying to get some air in. You know. So, I'm somewhat in nature. If you call this nature. Give me more for the collective. What else does the collective need to know or letters for today? I see something about the heart coming up, but it's on a different deck. But the beautiful thing is you guys are going to find some balance in a partnership, whether it be harmony because of love or harmony in a relationship where maybe you guys aren't together anymore. I feel like there's going to be some harmony or progress made in a situation having to do with probably kids or something or finances. Collective, I see something about the Nine of Pentacles. Um, some of you guys are being advised to meditate, pray. You're being asked to um, submit to a higher calling, a higher order, right? Um, there's something about being able to identify traitors. If you guys were blocked or something was blocked from your memory before, you're going to run into somebody or you're going to feel somebody's energy. is going to be like, okay, I noticed that. I know what that energy is. I'm familiar with it, right? You're going to be able to identify that somebody is a traitor or somebody is not on your side when it comes to something just really bad energy somebody who will betray you you're going to get this energy because you've encountered this let me just let that pass by oh it's a garbage truck so it'll be every other stop i don't know what to tell you yeah so you guys are going to run into this energy that is familiar because this same energy you're going to feel the same way you felt the first time which was uneasy is the same energy that you guys are going to feel again some of you guys are going to run into a capricorn taurus or a virgo possibly right who's going to give you this uneasy feeling all right and remember the last person that made you feel like that did something to betray you and destroy your plan so you're going to get the same energy you're going to come up with somebody who's got very familiar energy all right and pay attention to that very familiar your stomach will sink you'll have a feeling some very significant feeling give me more for the collective all right i don't know when that's happening i don't know if it has happened uh there's going to be some liberation okay now this one i'm going to look at it we have the seven yep okay yeah this is all the same thing here this is the seven of wands the expected god is about having liberation from something and the first card that we talked about talked about you guys understanding that there is danger around you but you guys also need to not be fearful of this danger i get the same thing you guys are going to be delivered from a couple of different things here i feel like there's going to be liberation from this danger that surrounds you and you're definitely going to have some victory towards something all right you're going to be able to see who your enemies are they're going to be visible and invisible visible are those that are going to be right before you because you guys are operating off intuition so there's going to be 
somebody right before you, you're going to be able to recognize a familiar feeling, a familiar spirit. This person is the same, it's the same demon in a different body. Don't get involved with this person. But you guys are also, there's going to be somebody that you know. So not this person that you don't know. The person that you don't know is the person with the familiar spirit or somebody who broke your heart, betrayed you something. You'll feel it. The person that you do know, you guys are going to be able to recognize enemies that are visible and invisible. Right? So you're going to know that person that you didn't know. That person was, that spirit is there. Even though they're invisible, it's that, it's that same demon on another person. It's kind of like that. I hate to make it sound biblical, but I think that's, I don't know. All right, so enemies visible and invisible. You guys are going to be able to sense different things, all right? I just feel like there's a higher awareness, especially right now today. I don't think there's anything to be afraid of, but there's definitely a lot to be aware of. We have the five of cups that comes out reverse. I feel like some of you guys are recovering from something, right? Whatever loss and regret, regret that you guys may have had. Some of you guys feel like somebody didn't love you here. Uh, somebody didn't return their love. I can't pinpoint who this is, though. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but then we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or if you guys know what Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, they could be upset and think that you are not, uh, that you don't love them or something like that. Whoever this person is, they, uh, there's nothing, there's something about them questioning their prosperity. They're trying to be delivered from some sort of a bondage. I feel like it's reversed. It's reversed. Delivered from bondage. I feel like this person is dealing with some kind of imprisonment in one's mind, maybe. Whoever that's about. That could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio you guys are dealing with. The people deal, or the person dealing with the liberation piece to it. There is Leo Sagittarius. If we look at the Nine of Pentacles, that's something about submitting. Somebody wants you to submit to something. I think you reject it, whoever you are, collective. Give me more. Give me one more card. All right. We also have the Page of Swords. All right. So I don't know if somebody was looking. I don't know if somebody was gossiping, gossiping, looking, trying to get more information on something. It may have stopped. Maybe somebody's not doing it anymore. I feel like whatever this is or whatever this energy is, there's something about uh, legal issues that's coming up. Somebody trying to seek refuge from legal issues. Somebody's trying to maybe destroy somebody else's dreams with hidden mysteries and, wait a minute, reveals mysteries hidden from mortals. Somebody is connected to, I don't know, I guess the invisible world because that kept coming out. There was another read that I did today, I didn't post it, but it was talking about the, invi I think maybe I did post it? No, I didn't. It was talking about the invisible world, how the invisible world is run by certain people it's invisible so you don't know i don't know whatever you want to call it but i'm not surprised that it mentions it here again i'm just trying to see what the correct definition Hold on. yeah well are they hiding it i'm trying to figure out what is the point with this somebody won't submit to something somebody wants to be free of a situation Somebody sad and grieving a loss of something. Whatever this loss is, is going to lead to some legal issues. Mm. Somebody may have... Somebody may have been snooping and gossiping, snooping, looking around, trying to find something. And they didn't find anything. They found somebody who wasn't prosperous. There was no prosperity. And somebody's trying to be free from the situation. I'm reading them backwards now. Submission. Somebody can't... Somebody, somebody's supposed to submit something. They can't give birth to the paperwork. They don't have it. The paperwork is off, wrong, not right. Or they can't explain why they don't have it. Deliverance from enemies. You guys are going to be delivered from enemies today. Or there's something about being delivered from the enemy. All right. Again, these cards keep talking about you defending yourself against competition. What is a competition? Well... I don't know where the competition comes from, but there's some danger around you. You guys, okay, so now if you take a look at this card, this, see that? This is a magician card in this deck. It's reversed. The generous God. There's somebody who's trying to keep something from you, and they are probably doing dark things because dark does come up in this read. Dark energy. As a matter of fact, let me just tell you guys the first card up is danger, overwhelmed. Hold on, let me show it to you. 
It talks about danger. These are the two cards. Danger, overwhelm, dark emotions. You see that? Dark. I don't know if you can see it. Emotions, right? And that's exactly what the magician reverses is dark energy. Somebody doing something in dark. Can I go here? Yep. So somebody, this could be Virgo or Gemini energy that you guys are dealing with. This person could be playing with um, dark energy, a dark focus, using something dark to create something, black things. When you do dark things like dark magic or something like that, you can create obstacles or their goal is to create obstacles. Your goal is not to get caught up in this nonsense, right? So... If you stay balanced, this stuff is not going to touch you. And I think they're realizing that. I don't know. Give me one more, please, for the collective. So, yeah, people are trying to do all types of magic tricks and stuff. It's not going <laughs> to... Spiritual wisdom. All right, we also have the two of wands. Something about love and wisdom. And it's really funny because it brings me to this card over here. Remember I told you guys that the heart card was up here? Let's see what this is about. Two of wands is a helping God. You're going to be helped out of something. You're going to move with love and wisdom and have victory over those who would attack you. So whoever's coming to attack you, there's going to be some kind of victory with that. There's going to be victory. You guys have been waiting. It speaks to waiting for results. There's going to be victory over those who would attack you. Love and wisdom. I feel like you guys have been waiting for helping God. So waiting for results, a helping God. Don't worry. It's going to be resolved. Now the love card does come up for you guys here. The heart is a symbol of fulfillment and joy romance is in full bloom oh can y'all see that romance is in full bloom for you enjoy serenity hold up serenity rests deep in thy heart loving yourself is where you should start so you guys have to love yourselves and there's something about love coming in for you that's going to be helping god or something like that some of you guys could be going into books i see something about a book here an unopened book there's a, there's some books that you guys need to read I feel like it's more about getting into your family history or something like that. When pages are read, the truth is revealed. You guys are going to find out something that you didn't know. There's going to be some truth that comes out. Blessed to the words of devotion. Some of you guys are really... The, the book guards tales of inner emotion. So there's something that reveals your heart. There's a book that reveals something about the heart. Blessed are the words of deep devotion, deeply devoted to something. Some of you guys could really be spiritual beings or religious or whatever, right? And your heart, it's kind of like your heart is on trial. And it looks like the truth is told through some sort of a book. You guys are manifesting something. Give me one more. Mm, I don't know who Bertrand is. Reminds me of one of those old names like Gertrude. Anyway, Bertrand brings strife Ooh, to what is bliss. Hold on. Ciao. Wait a minute. Hold up. To husband and wife, all has gone amiss. I told you there's somebody fighting here. There's a husband and a wife fighting. Another reading I did earlier, there was a husband and I, a work and husband and wife at odds over something. And then there's some kind of danger here. Somebody that wants you to submit and you're not going to submit. As a matter of fact, the cards are saying here that you will get the romance that you want if you love yourself first and not give into this. Let's see what this is about. To husband and wife has all gone amiss. Prepare for sorrows that dampen the day. Begotten of quarrels that bring much dismay. I feel like some of you guys are escaping these arguments. It did come out reverse, but just know you might be escaping an argument by walking away from this danger and not entertaining the nonsense or whatever that's about. All right, I pulled a couple of those. Give me a card for the collective so I can be on 13 minutes. And I thought this one. Give me a card for the collective. Just one card. That, and if I'll pull another one if I need to. What does the collective need to know? Focus on or what is your card? Ooh. All right. Yep. So what is this? We have the five of wands. It comes out reverse. So, you know, that's about arguing and fighting. You're being asked to compromise and there's something with conflicts and, re and reaching agreements. So you guys, like I was saying earlier in the read, there is something here where you're going to be able to reach a compromise with somebody by handling something a certain way. Watch out for danger. Watch out for setups and people trying to get you trapped in something. Be very careful so you can avoid these arguments or whatever this is, right? Something with arguments. You're going to find harmony in a situation. You're going to find harmony in an agreement. You'll be able to end this argument, fight, whatever that's about. All right, this could be, is it pointing on anybody in particular? No, Aries Leo Sagittarius. You guys could have some conflict with an Aries Leo Sag and there's going to be some sort of agreement met, made, 
some into a conflict and it's going to be about finances and security something like that king of pentacles energy does come up some of you guys are dealing with a capricorn taurus or virgo um this situation is going to be handled with somebody who represents you or somebody this person is wealthy this person has to do with business this person is not a risk taker therefore i believe the king of pentacles can be trusted in this sense uh hold on let me i just had a card fall now i'll take this one we have the seven of swords that comes out reversed here so somebody's going to confess and somebody's going to come clean about something some arguments or fights had with the king of pentacles or an aries leo sag or capricorn taurus virgo is going to make a confession about a libra aquarius or a gemini there's some kind of confession they're going to they're going to tell the truth about how this person did something this person stole something this person lied cheated stole something this person's behavior is questionable this person was spying so this card also talks to the page of swords right so there was some kind of spying it's like how did you get that information how did you get that information and i feel like somebody's gonna somebody's gonna fess up somebody's gonna fess up about a libra aquarius gemini or a libra aquarius gemini is gonna fess up about somebody else i believe this might be an accidental confession i don't know accidental confession is there anything else somebody could have been doing this with sport play playing games one more card yeah all right somebody's folding up Fold Folding on your beliefs. Somebody's giving up. Somebody's going to, listen, what's going to happen is somebody's going to make a confession. There's some conflict going on. There's a king of pentacles who wants nothing to do with this nonsense. Or somebody's going to tell on a king of pentacles. The king of pentacles character is they typically do not make mistakes. They're typically upstanding, trustworthy, handled by money right people. They have finances available, right? A mature businessman, all right? Not a risk taker. Keep that in mind. So this is not somebody who just throws money at something. This person, I don't know if somebody tried to get them caught up in something, but what they're going to do or somebody's going to tell on somebody. Libra Aquarius, Gemini is telling that somebody stole something. They're going to confess.